Hi, Ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very popular Sichuan dish cold sesame spicy noodle with the garnish of the English cucumber and uh, Julian cut eight and with some basil. Okay, first we have this English cucumber. I wash it and clean it really good. And uh, you can, uh, English cucumber, you can, I usually like to eat with the meat and the skin at the same time. So what I do is I cut maybe like uh, three to four inches like this, okay, section. And then what you're going to do, you're going to thin slice it like maybe three to four times and flip over and do it again and flip it over. And flip it again. Just keep doing that. Or if you have a very unique knife scale, if you have a sushi knife, you can cut it like a cucumber sheet like this. And next time I will show you. I'm really good at that for making sushi because I um, I'm very uh, into like a sushi. I have a couple restaurants have sushi. Then I we make those. Uh, sushi roll and uh, all kind of cucumber, different kind of cutting. I'm going to show you next time, but today I'm going to show you the cucumber. Simple that you can make it at home. So now you have a thin slice like this. Okay, and you uh, line up and you julienne cut. Just like that. Or if you have a food processor, you can use a food processor, it will be the same. Okay, and you're going to put this on the side on the side here and I have three four little pieces of the very fresh the Thai basil you roll it around like this and squeeze it around and you just julienne cut cut as small as you can like this because this we're going to use it for gar garnish with the spicy Sichuan sauce on the top of that sesame noodle and I will put that on the side and I have a cold noodle that which is the cold pasta any kind of pasta that you have the leftover and uh, we're gonna garnish with the English cucumber and the basil and some egg with a very delicious sauce I'm gonna show you and also I have two egg then I'm gonna show you how to make it okay now I'm gonna pan fry the egg uh, very thin and I got two eggs right here. And then I have the wok, like medium heat, not too hot. And one teaspoon of oil. Go like this. Drill like this. You, you don't need a lot of oil. If that's too much oil, it's not gonna work. Okay? Swirl around like this. Okay, now. We're going to put the egg in and you don't want to disturb the egg right away and what you're going to do is you slowly rotate around through your pan or your wok okay slowly make sure the egg nice heat and start foaming stable there and then you rotate like this you see how I do it? Just like that. Gently. You're not in a hurry. And then you go around. Like this. Very gently. In Asia, we do a lot of this kind of style. Egg. We call it like a... Dumping. Or... We use this for like a mushu, or we use this for like a, a stir fry uh, vermicelli. See, that's how you do it. It's very thin, and your heat's very light. You see, very light, almost like a medium. You gotta control your temperature like this. See, keep rotated like this. This is really fun to do that, but you need time to practice because you don't want to overburn your egg. In the meantime, you want to have your egg stay the same shape or form. See? That's how you control your heat. By rotating, I keep my wok or your pan 
at the bottom of the heat just like that I think once you feel comfortable with the ed edges here it start forming nice and firm then you can flip yeah. but at the meantime I get my spatula still take because my heat is really low so I'm gonna take it a little longer and I know that my egg is not burning and I'm not gonna try to flip it with my wok see okay. now I think it's almost done that's how I do it that's it beautiful Once you flip one side, the other side you'll be safe. The first side is the one that difficult to do, but you're gonna keep doing like that. You will get it. Okay, now the egg is done. I'm gonna show you how to cut it. Okay, now we finish cooking the egg. That's how your egg look like. Beautiful. So I'm gonna roll the egg. You see here? Just keep rolling like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut it like a noodle cut. So cut. So cut. Okay, don't chop. So cut. So the egg will form into like an egg noodle. Okay? Look, it's like an egg noodle, like this. Isn't that beautiful? So now, we have the pasta. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna garnish with my cucumber first. Like this. Because the cucumber is green, the noodle is uh, almost like a light yellow. I don't want to put the egg. And then now, I garnish with my egg here, on the top, just like that. Okay, beautiful. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Okay, to make the sauce, I you can use a stainless steel bowl or the glass bowl will be fine. And first, I add some ginger and garlic. Okay, and some sesame oil. I will list the ingredient in my description box in the brown sugar or brown honey and then light sodium soy sauce okay light sodium soy sauce because this is almost like a salad dressing like that not too much and then sourness we're gonna use lemon juice or lime juice a little bit and ground pepper always ground pepper with a nice balanced texture and then nice drizzle of the olive oil like that, okay? And then you whisk it really good. And if you want spicy, which I want to make it spicy, you can put some uh, hot chili flake, or you can use sriracha, or you can use uh, jalapeno, or any pepper. You mix it like this, that's what it look like, okay? And now, the next thing, we want to add the tradition. We use creamy peanut butter to mix it in but the sauce is cold we need to warm up before we can blend it with the peanut butter so what I'm going to do is I have a pot of the warm water I'm going to show you how to do it so now you have a pot of the warm water not boiling okay you see it okay and then you put the stainless steel you stand stainless steel on the top of the warm water and then now you're gonna keep the sauce slightly warm and then you can put your peanut butter in you can put one table teaspoon one tablespoon or two tablespoon I have about almost two tablespoon okay and it will dissolve if your water is pretty almost warm see you can you can start telling it when it starts warm up a little bit and we don't want to have a direct heat we want an indirect almost like when they make the what do you call that like when they're baking baking use a lot of kind of like a 